हेलो व्यूवर्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इशफाक सामून ब्लॉग्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस साउथ एशियन एसोसिएशन फॉर रीजनल कोऑपरेशन सार्क लेक्चर सेकंड फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्थ सब्जेक्ट पॉलिटिकल साइंस चैप्टर्स थ्री और फाइव पार्ट ए बुक कंटेम्प्रेरी वर्ल्ड पॉलिटिक्स सार्क एज वी नो स्टैंड्स फॉर साउथ एशियन एसोसिएशन फॉर रीजनल कोऑपरेशन बिफोर डिस्कसिंग वील हैव ए स्लाइड लुक ऑन इट इट इज एन इंटर गवर्नमेंटल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विच वर्क फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक एंड रीजनल इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ द साउथ एशियन रीजन Uh, the organization has the support of different countries which are the which are its member states uh, sark is uh, an economic and political regional organization of countries in south asia uh, which was set up uh, in the year 1985 it aims to accelerate the process of economic and social development of the south asian region uh, at the first uh, summit uh, in dhaka uh, Sark was established on 8 December 1985 uh, by the heads of states of uh, and governments of the South Asian countries. They adopted the charter uh, establishing the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation (SARC). Uh, viewers, in today's video lecture, we will discuss about the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation, its role in the development of the South Asian region. Uh, stay with me in this lecture till the end. Uh, let's get started. Uh, the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation is an economic and political regional organization of countries in South Asia. Uh, it was established with the signing of the SARC Charter in Dhaka on 8 uh, December 1985. Uh, SARC comprises of eight member states: Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Maldives, Nepal. Pakistan and Sri Lanka. Uh, the secretary of the association was set up uh, in Kathmandu on 17 January 1987. Uh, flag of Sark is visible there on screen. Flags of Sark countries are also visible on the screen. Uh, have a slight look on it. Uh, the objective of the organization, as mentioned in the Sark Charter is to promote the welfare of the people of South Asia and to improve their quality of life, to accelerate economic growth, social progress and cultural development in the region and to provide all individuals the opportunity to live in dignity and to realize their full potentials, to promote and strengthen collective self-reliance among the countries of South Asia, uh, to contribute to mutual trust, understanding and appreciation of one another's problems to promote active collaboration and mutual assistance in the economic, social, cultural, technical and scientific fields, to strengthen cooperation with other developing countries, to strengthen cooperation among themselves in international forms on matters of common interests and to cooperate with international and regional organizations with similar aims and purposes. Decisions at all levels are to be taken on the basis of unanimity and bilateral and continuous issues. Contentious issues are excluded from the deliberations of the SARC uh, Association. <coughs> Historical background. The idea of regional cooperation in South Asia was first initiated in May 1980. Uh, the foreign secretaries of the uh, then seven countries uh, met uh, for the first time in Colombo, uh, Sri Lanka in April 1981, five key areas for regional cooperation were identified and with time other important areas were added later. Uh, the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation was set up when its charter was formally adopted on 8th December 1985 by the heads of state uh, governments of India, Bangladesh, Maldives, Bhutan, Nepal, Sri Lanka and uh, Pakistan. 
A map of Sara countries is visible on screen. Have a slight look on it. Uh, areas of cooperation among Sarak nations. Uh, agriculture and rural development, human resources development and tourism, economic trade and finance, social affairs, environment, natural disasters and biotechnology, education, security and culture, and other information and poverty elevation, energy transport, science and technology. Further, the objectives of SARC. The main aim of the organization is to work towards a common goal of achieving social, cultural and economic prosperity for all the people within the South Asia Asian region. Uh, the objective of SARC as defined in its charter are as follows. Uh, to promote the welfare of the people of South Asia and improve their quality of life, to accelerate economic growth, social progress and cultural development uh, in the region by providing all individuals the opportunity to live in dignity and realize their full potential, uh, to promote and strengthen collective self-reliance among the countries of South Asia, uh, to contribute to mutual trust, understanding and appreciation of one another's problems, to promote active collaboration and mutual assistance in the economic, social, cultural, technical and scientific fields, to strengthen cooperation with other developing countries, to strengthen cooperation among themselves in international forms on matters of common interest, and to cooperate with international and regional organizations with similar aims and purposes. principles of SARC as a cooperation uh, co to cooperation <coughs> within the framework of the SARC shall be based on uh, respect for the principles of sovereignty equality territorial integrity political independence non-interference in the internal affairs of other states and mutual benefit uh, such cooperation shall not be a substitute uh, for bilateral and multilateral cooperations but shall complement them uh, such cooperation shall not be inconsistent with bilateral and multilateral obligations. Structure of SARC. Uh, SARC has the following structure. Uh, council, it is the apex policy making body. Uh, the council is represented by government heads of the uh, respect to member countries, uh, council of ministers, the council of ministers comprises the foreign ministers and they met generally two times annually, council of ministers, their function uh, is, is policy formulation, uh, their function is reviewing the uh, progress of regional cooperation, identifying uh, newer areas of cooperation and setting up additional mechanisms as required. Uh, standing committee. It comprises the foreign uh, secretariat of the member countries. The major functions of the standing committee are uh, as to monitor and coordinate the programs, to deal with modalities of financing, to mobilize cooperation within the within and outside uh, the region. Uh, programming committee. It comprises senior officials of the member governments. Uh, the major functions of uh, this committee are as follows finalizing the annual meet schedule, uh, budget securitization, external activities assigned by standing committee, technical committee. It consists of representatives of the member nations. The major functions of the committee are as follows to formulate projects and monitor the same, uh, to submit uh, reports. SARC Secretariat. Uh, it is headed by the Secretary General, appointed by the Council of Ministers. The main functions of the Secretariat are as under coordination and execution of activities conducted by SARC, monitoring the SARC meetings, work as uh, a communication link between SARC and other international uh, summits and forums, SARC regional centers. Regional centers established in member countries are to are the supporting pillars uh, to the Secretariat for promoting regional cooperation. 
these regional centers are managed by respective governments uh, uh, respecting governing entities comprising representatives from member states sarak secretary general and the ministry of foreign action affairs of the host government programs of agri uh, action um, Agriculture and rural development, women, youth, and children, health and population activities, science and technology and metrology, environment and forestry, human resources development, and transport. These are the programs of action of SARC nations. Establish working groups in the following areas uh, biotechnology, information and communication technology, intellectual property rights, energy, and tourism. The significance of Sarak. Sarak is the world's most densely populated region uh, and one of the most fertile areas. It comprises 3% of world's area, 21% of the world's population, and 3.8% of the global economy, 2.9 trillion US dollars. Sarak countries uh, synergize their actions as they have common traditions, dress, food, and culture, and political aspects. The Sarak nations have problems and solutions to the problems in common such as poverty, illiteracy, malnutrition, natural disasters, internal conflicts, industrial and technological backwardness, low GDP and poor socio-economic conditions. These nations uplift their living standards by creating common areas of development. Importance of Sarak for India. Sarak is a game changer for India. Uh, India's Act uh, East policy, it links South Asian economies with South East Asia, which will further boost economic integration and prosperity to India, mainly in the service sector, primarily to the country's immediate neighbors. Uh, nations of Sarak help in the creation of mutual trust and peace within this region, thus promoting stability. Sarak can engage Nepal, Bhutan, the Maldives, and Sri Lanka in economic cooperation and development uh, processes to counter China. Uh, Sarak offers a platform for India to showcase its leadership in the region by taking up its extra responsibilities. Uh, achievements of SARC. A free trade area is established by the member countries to increase their internal uh, trade and le lessen the trade gap of some st states considerably. SARC is comparatively a new organization in the global arena. SARC free trade agreement was signed to reduce custom duties of the trade course of zero uh, by the year 2016. South Asia uh, Peripheral Trading Agreement, SAPTA, uh, for promoting trade among these member countries. SARC Agreement on Trade in Services sets uh, approach for trade in services liberalization. SARC University establishment, uh, establish a SARC University in India, a food a bank, and also energy reserves in Pakistan. SARC specialized bodies. The specialized bodies are created by the member states and their structures in different from regional centers. The management is taken care by uh, the representatives of member states, the ministers of foreign affairs of the host governments. Different SARC specialized bodies, SARC Arbitration Council, SADCO Pakistan, SARC Development Fund, SDF Bhutan, South Asian University, SOE India, South Asian Regional Standard Organization, Dhaka, Bangladesh. Um, SARC Arbitration Council, it is an intergovernmental body having its office in Pakistan, is mandated to provide a legal framework for within the region for fair and efficient settlement of commercial, industrial, trade, banking, investment, and such other disputes as may be referred to it by the member states and their people. Uh, development Fund, SARC Development Fund. Uh, SDF is governed by a board uh, consisting of representatives form of ministers, finance. Uh, um, uh, member states, uh, Asian Regional Standard Organization, uh, Secretariat at Dhaka, Bangladesh, uh, uh, further South Asian University, it is located in India, uh, <coughs> and challenge with SARC, relations between India and Pakistan escalated tensions and conflicts severely hamper the prospects of SARC. So, with this we will complete today's topic, we will coming soon. If you talk to us, WhatsApp number is visible there, email ID is visible there. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thanks. Allah Hafiz.